Hello everyone, welcome to a brand new tutorial how to create Minecraft 2D. This is part 31 and in this tutorial we are going to create chests. Now, uh, what just happened is that I recorded everything, stuff like that, but I found out that my microphone was off. Great. So I gotta do it again, but don't worry, it'll be fine. So in this tutorial we are going to create chests and therefore we need a sprite chest. Now, this is the animation for the sprite uh, chest I use and uh, it will just loop through an open chest and a closed chest. Now let me explain it real quick. Uh, this happens from image index 1 to 5 whenever we open a chest and this happens from image index uh, 5 to image index 9 when we close the chest and whenever we don't use anything it will just be 0. So remind. Now uh, we are going to object, uh, I mean group items and uh, we are gonna create a sprite chest item and it's uh, it's all very uh, known so next we are gonna go to grip control and we are gonna go to sprite inf and here you will see that I added a chest sprite now uh, you gotta add this yourself uh, you will find it in the default minecraft resource folder or on google or you can create one yourself now I am gonna go to objects we're gonna go to object block object item and I mean a uh, group and a control and we're gonna open up this one as well now you gotta create the object chest this will be duplicated from our crafting table so we gotta adjust some things like uh, object crafting table item to object chest item and everything else I will explain later. So we are gonna create a object chest item which will be parented to object item and we are gonna go to object item and we are gonna create a, a variable namely index is uh, 46 and uh, then we are gonna go to object inf and we're gonna delete our uh, uh, keyboard press E event and we are gonna place it in our step event excuse me in our step event so key inf will be uh, keyboard check pressed or E or every, any anything else I don't care and we are gonna say that inventory is not inventory whenever we press E and crafting is false, chest is false, furnace is false and open is false that means that we have to create all those variables in our creation event Inventory, crafting, chest, furnace, and chat all false. And uh, whenever we press E and our crafting is true, then we will close it. Whenever we press E and our chest is true, then we close it. And whenever our furnace is true and we press E, then we close it. So it's very basic stuff right there. Uh, that's pretty easy. Now we are going to go to object slot control and we are going to add all those things like sprite 46 is sprite in sprite chest and same with the item object item and same with the object itself so we can place our object chest and whenever we select our uh, chest in our guy bar then we will draw a chest. Now what do we have to do whenever we uh, yeah, let's go to object board generation. And we're gonna go to the creation event, and this is a very important thing right here. Global chest number is gonna be equal to uh, minus one. And uh, global chest, global open chest, will be the same as zero. And we will see that variable again in our creation event. So uh, chest index is going to be the same as global chest number. And uh, we are going to create an alarm, which will uh, be alarm one. And we're going to equal it to five. We are going to say that uh, chest is false, slots is false, and the image speed and image index will be zero. And then we're gonna go to uh, our alarm one, and we are gonna say that chest is true. So that means when we uh, right press our uh, chest, we want to open 
our uh, chest, you know. But uh, we don't want to open every chest as soon as we create one. Uh, you know, you might want to do every uh, other th other stuff, you know. Uh, so that means that we have to set an alarm one to 15, maybe 10. I don't know. And whenever we place our chest, uh, we gotta click it again to open it. So uh, we only can we can only open our chest whenever inventory is false, crafting is false, a chest is false, and our chest is closed. Now, uh, chest needs to be true. That's the uh, alarm. And uh, whenever that happens, image index will plus equals one. So it will loop through the uh, animation because in our step event, I mean end step event, we said that whenever the image index is zero or five, then the image speed will be zero. And whenever uh, it's uh, everything else, then the image speed uh, is one. And uh, when we click it, then alarm 2 will be 7. Now, uh, why don't we just instantly open the chest whenever we click it? Well, that will be a shame for our animation, because you won't be able to see that animation. So that's alarm 2. And uh, this makes sure we can open our chest, because inf chest here is true. So it will show uh, that uh, sprite image uh, right here, probably. I don't know where I said it. Yeah, right here. Uh, if chess is true, then uh, we are gonna draw our second image index. So our uh, sprite, our chest basically, will open. So global open chest will be the same as chest number. So the currently opened chest is this chest. Now that means that uh, every chest has a different chest index. And we are going to set that, say that right here. Whenever our uh, current slot is 46, whenever our current slot's index, um, excuse me, is 46, so that means that we have chest selected. Uh, and we right click, global right click, and we can actually place the chest then the global chest number will be plus equals one. So that means that we can chase, uh, that means that we can uh, create a chest index for every slot, uh, namely the current uh, global chest number variable, a value actually. So uh, slots is, if slots is false, which is false in the beginning, here slots will be true. And we are gonna create all those slots so these are quite some variables and uh, we will use a global open chest so that is the chest index to create a uh, unique special slot index for every slot open and we will use global chest open uh, global open chest for that you can see that right here it's index plus uh, index is 50 because we already have 50 slots and then plus one because uh, this is uh, index 51 and uh, multiply by 30 which is uh, 1 to 27 plus the three slots for the furnaces you gotta keep in mind that we are creating more slots namely furnaces stuff like that so I'm just gonna say 30 later on we will create more slots uh, for the uh, enchanting table uh, stuff like that enchantment table stuff like that but first we are gonna say 30 uh, multiplied by the global open chest so that means that uh, if the global open chest is zero because we said uh, in our object world generation event that it is uh, minus one so whenever we place our first uh, object chest then it will be minus one plus one which is zero and then 30 duplicated by zero will be zero so there we have our new slot index 51 so that's great and uh, you can see that when we go to chest slot 16 that here says uh, st uh, here it says 16 same for everything else 21 is 21 
Now, in the step event, we have our x and y value. You can find it, at least for my uh, for my Minecraft game project. You can find it in alarm two, and here it will have every uh, x and y variable a uh, value. Sorry. So every uh, slot has a different uh, x and y variable value. Sorry. So uh, every chest slot is parented to object chest slot, and uh, object chest slot basically will be the same as object in slot. The only difference is that we are gonna say uh, we are only gonna show these. Uh, we are only gonna activate all those uh, slots because we can only press it right and left whenever we opened the chest so that means only we can only do that if the index is uh, higher or equals as uh, 40 uh, 50 plus 1 which is uh, slot 1 and then uh, plus 30 multiplied by global open chest so that means uh, that let's say that the open chest is uh, chest number 5 then it will only activate those uh, slots of chest number five. So everything else will basically be the same. Uh, make sure that uh, this one is 21 and 45, which are the uh, slots, uh, the tools. So you gotta adjust that right here as well. I didn't do that yet, uh, but you gotta do that. Because uh, you can't uh, replace uh, 10 tools at the same time you can only replace one two and there can only be one two in one slot so same thing here and same thing here and of course you gotta add a chest right uh, chest right there yeah so what do we have to do Now, I don't d don't know if I uh, did that the last tutorial because uh, that was a pretty fast tutorial. But you gotta go to guy select and you gotta say that uh, chat open is false and uh, object in the chest is false in our uh, step event of the guy select. So we can't uh, really uh, move our. Uh, guy selector whenever we open the jet uh, chest a crafting table or inventory so I think that was it uh, I know this hasn't been a great tutorial where I uh, you know type stuff in and show you guys what everything means and uh, stuff like that it's basically the same as uh, a previous tutorial but I think this is a great way to uh, globally explain how everything works and uh, so you don't have to wait for me uh, to all to create all these uh, objects uh, to create all those variables to type in stuff uh, you know I can just show you guys and uh, you can copy it uh, I will make this file downloadable uh, in the description you can download the file uh, so you can you know study how I did this uh, you can uh, adapt it to your own uh, personal uh, uh, project and uh, now I will show you guys uh, how I created it well all right index area index 32,000 hang on a second start control Alright, oh of course, of course. I forgot that uh, there is no 2D array that can exceed this number. So you gotta stay under it. Let's uh, just say that. So that means you can't create 368 chests, uh, but hell of a lot less. But maybe we fix that later if uh, if we actually do want to create that many chests. 
So here you can see that the chest opens and closed and here you can see it totally works. So that was the tutorial on how to create chests in your game and I hope this was useful for you and uh, hopefully I will see you guys later. Thanks for watching, stay tuned for the next tutorials and uh, peace out.